We are here to dive in water, which hopefully harbors a quite unique and mysterious animal. They're sort of well camouflaged within their environment, so it's going to be a bit of a bit of a hunt for a very, very inconspicuous animal. But apparently they're incredibly exquisite, so it's definitely worth doing. Five, four, three, two, five, five, five. So, we're looking for something about 50 centimetres long that looks exactly like a piece of seaweed. I'm having a good look right down underneath everything because the way that they protect themselves from predators is to get right in amongst the kelp. No, so far, uh, haven't found anything too. Of course, that's the idea for them anyway. Stay hidden and survive. <laughs> They're doing a damn good job of it, if I do say so. Apparently, you've got to look for the eye moving, Philippe. You can just see the little eye movement in amongst the camp fronts. These rare animals are so perfectly evolved to blend in with the seaweeds that spotting one is incredibly difficult. Let's keep looking. I got one! I found one! I found one! I found one! Woohoo! Oh my god, it's beautiful! Tony, I've got a sea dragon over here. Come look at this. Found only in the kelp forests of South Australia and Tasmania, this is the weedy sea dragon. So brilliant, the blue and green and red. They're related to the seahorses, but they're slightly different species. And how effortlessly they swim through this as we're getting tossed around like we're in a washing machine. And you see its fins all moving, how it just looks as though nothing's actually propelling it at all very, very fine fin on its tail there. You can see why it's such a perfect camouflage. And they're evolved just to look exactly like the kelp that they live in. And it protects them from predators. Because they're not particularly fast swimmers. It will not only use its camouflage for evading predators, but also for sneaking up on this prey. Small little crustaceans and zooplankton things in and amongst and around the kelp floating in the water column. Oh. To help them catch prey, sea dragons have eyes that can move independently. While one eye looks forwards, the other can look backwards. This is a very rare sighting. Like their cousins, the seahorses, weedy sea dragons are under threat. Decline of Tasmanian kelp forests, so and that actually means that the habitat for these beautiful creatures is getting smaller and smaller. The thing is, when something's so perfectly adapted to one particular ecosystem, it's got nowhere else to go. I think it's time to let her go on her way. Wow, what a gift. <laughs> <laughs> 